Hey, welcome back to Morning Footy. Well, in case you missed it earlier this week, we partnered with EAFC for the Team of the Year kickoff show with Kate, Jamie, Micah and Alex Scott, who were joined by World Cup winner Alexia Proteas to draft their EAFC 24 Women's Team of the Year. And earlier this week, we drafted, well, Morning Footy did, uh, the men's team. So now we're going to do the women's team. We're going to collectively pick the 11 in a 4-3-3 formation. Uh, positions from ref left to right don't matter, so you can uh, have free reign of everybody. Let's start. <laughs> Shall we? We're going to do the goalkeepers first. And Darian, you get the sole pick of this yes. one. Here's a look at the nominees for you. <laughs> You're so excited. I'm so excited. It was relatively easy for me. I had to go with Mary per Mary Earps. Yes. Um, she, yes, Poppy, English English superstar. She's from my hometown, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, about really? five miles away from where I live. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. from Compton, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> England goalkeeper of the year, BBC Women's Footballer of the Year. Yeah. Um, advocated for Nike to sell goalkeeper jerseys, I and mean, that shouldn't have to have been done. But and they I think sold out. They sold out within they minutes. Sold out. Within minutes of Huge. posting them. So I think she's made. She's really put the goalkeeper position really on the map. We always get a lot of flack for not giving them their credit, and I think she's been incredible in just advocating for women and goalkeepers, mm -hmm. and she's killing it. That was crazy, by the way, wasn't it, with the whole Nike thing, the fact that they didn't have the shirts, and then they sold out, and now they can't get enough of them. Good yeah. for you, Mary. I like that she's uh, in the 11. Ali, what about mm -hmm. the defenders? Here's the list of uh, the defenders that you can choose from. Who's going to be your first pick? Great group, very talented, but obviously I'm going with Naomi Germa. Um, she's a solid choice. <laughs> yeah, for me, not only American, um, you know, fellow American, but I think she's been incredible in the way that she's just stepped up in this professional, um, you know, level has been super impressive to me. And uh, I, f I feel like she's been playing here for years mm -hmm. and it's only been two. And so that's, she's just um, continuing to impress me every game and, and gaining experience every time she steps out on the field. And she's really taking this leadership role uh, with the national team. So that's been, yeah, great to see. She's made the transition look easy. Has she? Any Very arguments with her flawless. being the first one? No, in fact, this was my complaint about the, uh, the decisions made over in our London studio. I felt like there was, only, there was only one American. I felt like we could have put one or two more, and Naomi Germa was one I would have put on the mm -hmm. list. So you took the person I wanted to pick, and obviously we have a lot of <laughs> options here. Um, I'm somewhere between maybe a Sakina, uh, Sakina Karchawi, uh, uh, you know, Viga's daughter, or I think I might go with uh, Fridolina Rolfo. Uh, just someone Ooh. who, yeah, like just a someone has a, a little bit, and this is mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Defender can absolutely defend, but you're playing in a system that's fun to watch. Eight goals, eight assists last season. Absolutely incredible, fun to watch when they get forward. I love when a defender gets forward. I absolutely love that. So I'm going with Fridolina Rolfo. Mm -hmm. I like Great that show. I like that yeah. a lot. Nice. Uh, I'm so glad mine wasn't taken. Ah. I was worried. I was worried. Uh, I went with Katie McCabe. I think she is the defender you want on your team because she's gritty. She goes hard into tackles. You watch her, especially with Ireland. She is a force to be so reckoned good. with. She, yeah, she's a beast. She, she scores bangers. Um, yeah, I, I think that's who I would want on my team. She had a great year with Ireland and with Arsenal, and I think the sky's the limit for her. And she can play literally anywhere on the field mm -hmm. and does well. So okay. that's my pick. So we've got Germa, Rolfo, and Katie McCabe. Who's going to mm -hmm. be the last one on the back line, Ali? I mean, I think for me, just to round out, um, you know, we need a center back. And I think uh, Millie Bright is someone who I think would be a great mm. partnership with Naomi. I know that we don't have to, you know, choose that because of, you know, partnerships. But I do think she's had um, a good a good few years. And for England, she's a staple. And she's just this powerful center back who is just going to run through a brick wall. And, and sometimes you need that within a team. And um, she's a leader as well. And she's kind of grown into this role that I've seen over the years. And she's been impressive and um, consistent, mm -hmm. I should say. And that's, that's what you need from a center back. Um, you know, not that she's going to go forward all the time, but that's what... <laughs> Um, Naomi's there for yeah. so I think she's great defending in the box um, her clearances um, you know are, are are really good and yeah she her vision of the game as well the timing of her defending mm. has been impressive and she could score a few headers yes, as well in yeah. the box when she gets on the end I'm always excited watching her in the attack as well all right let's move on to the midfielders then uh, here's a look at the nominees Alexis you're up first, yes. first okay pick. so there's there's two things I'm trying to do here one <laughs> I want to pick a 
good player, but two, I want to steal Darian. But I <laughs> don't know who to. it is. You're not going to. I don't know who it is. So look, obviously the first two names you see on this list are probably the ones I should pick, right? Aitana Bonmati and Alexia Putellas. But there's a name on here, a player who I absolutely adore watching for Wolfsburg. Absolutely incredible. A defensive midfielder, but I love First of all, to see a player be absolutely tough, get stuck in, but also be able to lead that, advance the ball, break lines, get the attack going, and a leader at a young age, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick a wild one. I'm gonna go with Lena Oberdorf. I like it. Yeah, you didn't pick mine. Too. I did. No, you didn't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a great one. Um, okay, I'm so happy. I picked Kira Walsh. I'm, I'm oh, sticking with England. Yes. I'm really sticking I with like England. I'm riding. No, I thought I, no one was going to choose her for some reason. No, I think she doesn't get enough credit yeah. because she's kind of a silent player. Like, I love that you don't, you don't notice her too much in a game, but she cleans up mm -hmm. everything. She's so good in possession. She cuts through lines defensively, and her, um, the passes that she sees in the game, I think she's tactically genius. She's one of the best players in the world. Um, and so that was an easy pick for me. Every time yeah. she's missing from the England national team, she's one of the biggest players I worry about when yeah. we don't have her. And even listening to Serena Wiegmann talk in the press conferences, I'm like, anyone but Kira Walsh. Yep. What a midfielder. defensive midfield we have so far. So it's 4 3 3, so there's only one midfielder left. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Can you help us get it. goals here? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, um, it was a toss up between two of the Brazilians for me, but uh, the NWSL MVP this year, honestly, she had one, mm. a magnificent year, and it's always um, so, so difficult to play against. She's so unpredictable. So, Caroline, for me, mm -hmm. um, has had an amazing year, and if we're basing it off of you know recent success and uh, and, and how they've been performing uh, in, in the league this year, then for, hands down, she needs to be in this group. And um, she's excellent, and I'm always a little bit nervous to play against her. Once again, it's kind of that <laughs> Lynn Williams vibe where mm -hmm. you know you got to get on your bike uh, to catch up with her. So, uh, yeah, you need to keep her in your back pocket as a defender, and she's really difficult and unpredictable, like I said, but she brings that consistency. You know what you're going to get from her, and it's going to be a lot of success and goals and scoring opportunities. Wow, I, I like this. this. She's really? going to have free reign yeah. up there with our yeah, uh, two she's defensive gonna be, mids. I mean, she's going to be doing whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah. no, no, she's not she's like, I'm going to take the ball. Yeah. We got it. She's got four people behind her that's going to cover her and <laughs> roll for running past her. Yeah. <laughs> We've got no Bon Matti and no Alexia Potato. I, I, I thought, thought you surprised. were going to pick Bon Matti. I think mm. it was an easy choice. I she's honestly thought one of you guys would. So we I'm like, in our 11. let me get the one defensive player, but then we all went in. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. Okay, let's do the forwards then, the attackers. Darian, you're up first. Here's a look at the selections for you. Eeny, meeny, miny, Khadija Shaw. Easy for me. Um, I think she's an incredible player. I played, had the honor to play with her at Bordeaux um, and was just in awe training with her and watching how many goals she scores. She makes it look so effortless. 2022, she scored 31 goals in 30 games. She has nine goals, two assists this year so far. Really? You're going for her over Sam Kerr? I would. Surprise. I would. Sam Kerr does amazing with Australia and sadly everything with the JFF mm -hmm. is not good. Um, imagine if they had the support behind them, how well she would be doing, how many goals would she, be, she would be scoring, but she crushes it for City. Any team she's gone on, she scores a plethora of goals. So that was an easy, easy number nine for me. Okay, nice. Ali, who you add into it? Sam Kerr, 100%. Yeah. She's just uh, top class. She's a goal scorer. She is a creator. Um, she's, you know, always getting assists. Um, and it's just, she's always involved in the play. And so when she's involved, you know it's going to be, uh, create some type of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so she's also just a target forward. Uh, she can hold up the ball really well. Um, she can turn on a dime. And she can finish from, what, 25, 30 yards out. So it's, it's, she's impressive to watch. And for me, that's a clear choice. Oh, you guys have left me in yeah, an unenviable position. I mean, look at the... We've got Hanson. We've got, obviously, mm. Sophia Smith. Trinity Rodman I would love to put on there as well. Just saucy all over the mm -hmm. pitch. I can't wait to see what her ceiling is because oh, I have yeah. a feeling we've never seen it before in the women's mm -hmm. game. Uh, but I'm going to have to go with a young Colombiana, just someone mm -hmm. who Aye. finally put themselves at a position within the spotlight that I think we absolutely all believe she deserves. And Linda Caicedo mm -hmm. is my choice. Mm. And I, I can't believe I didn't pick Soph Smith. I can't believe I didn't pick uh, Trinity After Rodman. After American talk as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, I thought you were going all I American. Yipped. I yipped. I yipped for no reason. Uh, <laughs> Linda Caicedo, you're in. Cafeteras all day. Let's go. Wow. wow. This is yeah. hard to pick. Graham Hanson, I'm trying to get too. free empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> I think the attackers was the hardest list. It, it, it was. was. I, I was debating between Graham Hansen and Khadija, but... 
Who I would you have picked, Poppy? I want to make a petition for a super sub, a wild card, and have Chloe Kelly in there because I feel like oh, she's yeah. the biggest game changer off the bench out of this group, but maybe not to be in the uh, starting 11. But here is the starting 11 that we will go with with our uh, team of the year. I, I can't, I, we've got to add Bon Matty in here, surely, somewhere. No? Everybody happy with this? I would, I would remove. It's tough to move to remove Lee Nobedorf, but if we absolutely yeah. were upset yeah. that that Bon Mati is not in there, I'm willing to to switch my to switch my pick. And the double nine, right? I like it. Okay, good no stuff. backsies. <laughs> we just heard. <laughs> <laughs> we can't take it back. This is what we're riding with. Uh, well, a reminder that voting began January 8th at 11 a.m. Eastern, and fans can see the full list of men's and women's nominees and submit their votes for their team of the year starting 11. Visit ea.com forward slash team of the year or scan that QR code now. The voting will close Sunday, January 15th at 3 a.m. Eastern. Final team of the year rosters across men's and women's football can be and will be unveiled and available in EA Sports FC 20 on Friday, January 19th. All right, still to come here on Morning Footy, it was a wild one between Real Madrid and Atletico, an eight-goal thriller in Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia that needed extra time to separate the sides. We're talking that match next. <laughs> 